What's good, guys? Today is Wednesday, July the 27th, 2022. This video is going to be in regards to the Kanika Jenkins case. Not specifically the case, but I can remember last year um, when I was doing some of the updates on some of the partygoers who were uh, present in room 926 at the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare in September of 2017 that um, some of the girls uh, seemed to be doing a whole lot and it brought a lot of questions um, about where they were getting their funds from and, and myself included I'll admit it I was curious I was like what am I missing like what what are these girls doing that I'm not doing <laughs> well I figured it out so I thought I would share um, with the community not only for just pure nosiness sake but also so that um, it can kill some of the rumors about uh, so-and-so getting paid off and blah 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 um, because that's not what happened at least um, last year moving forward um, I'm sure there are other <laughs> things that I haven't found yet but this is just specifically speaking about last year moving forward okay um, and specifically during the pandemic now last year the US Small Business Association um, came up with a paycheck protection program or a PPP um, and it says here on their website an SBA-backed loan that helps businesses keep their workforce employed during the COVID-19 crisis. Now, what they did was they had a list of lenders who would loan money to these um, businesses so that these businesses could pay their employees uh, and specifically during the COVID-19 crisis that we were in. And um, just like anything else, there's always those people that take advantage um, of the system. And um, specifically, some of the people involved in the Kanika Jenkins case. And I'm going to show you some of these people. What they did was they did a first draw PPP loan. So you could get your first loan. Then they had a second draw PPP loan. And it says if you have previously received a Paycheck Protection Program PPP loan, certain businesses are eligible for a second draw PPP loan. And here's the punchline. Here's where it got everybody. PPP loan forgiveness. Borrowers may be eligible for Paycheck Protection Program loan forgiveness. And that was the case nine times out of ten. They borrowed the money for their business to pay their employees. And even they were even loaning and lending to sole proprietorships. And then the loans were forgiven. So let's take a look at a couple of these people. The first person I'm going to talk about is Monifa Shelton. And she can considers herself a sole proprietorship in the catering industry. Okay located in Chicago, sole proprietorship, received a coronavirus-related PPP loan from the Small Business Administration of $20,000 in February of last year. It says the company has reported itself as a Black or African-American female-owned business and employed at least one person during the applicable loan period. And it shows the loan size is $20,000. It says they retained one job, which I'm assuming is her. The loan was approved on February the 17th of 2021 by Etria Ventures, LLC. And the loan status was paid in full or forgiven. Um, and like I said, nine times out of ten, the loans were forgiven. Now, and it's even got the loan number and all that jazz on here. 
All right. It goes down and says reported PPP proceed usage. On the PPP application, Monifa Shelton reported intending to use the proceeds of their PPP loan for the following expenses. Payroll, $19,998. Utilities, $1. So, in other words, she paid herself $19,998. So, there's that. And it lists their money for Shelton, Chicago, Illinois, business industry, caterers, non-veteran, black or African-American, female-owned. It says business demographics, existing for, existing or more than two years old. All right. And then it goes on to show, talk about similar companies in Chicago. All right. Now, the next one uh, from the party that got one of these loans and paid their self was Tanasia Walker. Same. Sole proprietorship. Her industry, she lists as all other business support services out of Chicago. She's a sole proprietorship located in Chicago that received a coronavirus-related PPP loan from the Small Business Administration of $20,833 in April of 2021. It's got her loan number, jobs retained, one, which would be her, $20,833. Her loan was approved on April the 26th of 2021. Her lender was Harvest Small Business Finance, LLC. The loan status was paid in full or forgiven. It says Nasia Walker received a paycheck protection load of $20,833 through Harvest Small Business Finance, LLC, which was approved in April of 2021. All right. Her reported PPP proceed usage was completely on payroll so she completely paid herself that money it says the owner demographics it's all unreported she didn't even report her race ethnicity veteran status or gender it says her business has existed is existing now or has existed for more than two years all right so she's another one that hopped on the ppp loan bandwagon all right Now, while Asia Kimball uh, or JLM Ford, JLM Ford, wasn't at the party, um, her name has come up in this case numerous, numerous of times. Um, I think we all know who that is. She lists herself as a sole proprietorship in the public finance activities out of Chicago. She received $20,833, the same as Tanasia Walker, in May of last year. Uh, for one employee, so that would be her. Uh, her lender was Fountainhead SBF LLC. But her status says ongoing loan. Now, the last I heard, uh, just being 100 with you, she was doing really well. She had turned her life around and, and seemed to be on the right track. So I'm going to give her that. Okay. Now. Um, I think it's interesting to note though. And this is kind of where I was going with this whole thing. Is on the 25th. So two days ago. The Chicago Tribune. Which I am subscribed to had an article that said 16 Chicago Housing Authority workers fired over PPP pandemic loan fraud. 17th person just flat resigned. So, um, just let it be said that the government's not stupid on this type of uh, scheming and scamming. So, um, whether or not their businesses are legit or not, I'm sure that um, they're going to be taking a look at a lot of these, um, specifically sole proprietorship loans. And there's no telling what will come out of this. I know around the country, they are indicting people right and left over this PPP fraud. 
Um, one guy scammed him out of $2 million. Another guy scammed him out of $7 million. So, um, this is just chicken feed compared to that. But I just wanted to show you guys um, all these trips going back and forth to Miami and uh, all these new clothes and these new J's and moving and all this bunch of stuff, cars and all that. A lot of that could have came from this money here. So I just wanted to bring it to the attention of a lot of people that uh, like to say that they, that's their hush money or they got paid to do this or that when that's not the case at all. Uh, this, especially as it relates to last year moving forward. So, um, just thought I'd bring you that little tidbit of information and I'm going to end the video on that note. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great night.